But you see a lot of people that struggle with either, you know, being being late front foot strike or being really early front foot strike guys that are both kind of leaking power and you know potentially could get hurt from it so something that i like to do is that that preset hand position um, so we're kind of just teaching the body hey when we're approaching front foot strike this is kind of where we want to be right we want to feel we want to feel that scap being pulled down we want to feel that hand positioning you know being relatively close to the body we want to feel that counter rotation of the trunk. These are all just kind of feelings that we want to check off, check off the box or check the box, if you will. Um, and then we want to get that hand in that optimal position. And then when we go to throw, um, you know, kind of just takes care of itself. But for me, it's about those intentional repetitions that we're trying to, um, you know, teach, teach the body. Because right now, for those of you guys who maybe are late guys, early guys, uh, disconnected guys, whatever it may be, your body or your brain is telling your body that it's moving this way and that's right because you've been doing it for such a long period of time. So it kind of deems it efficient. So what we want to do is we want to just put you in positions and constraint yourself or your body, your hands, your arms, whatever it is, into positions to reteach you know your body that this is where we want to be and it's tricky because a lot of the times it feels really weird and usually the brain says okay if it feels weird it's wrong but again it's it, that's not really the case for for a lot of you know instruction or pitching coach type settings so again for me say this one i just want to make sure that my hands staying a little bit you know closer to my body and that elbow position is is down below the shoulder hand above the elbow and then i just want to make sure that all of those are efficient and then when i move and i go into rotate that nothing drastically hitches or change or you're going to notice that your hand and your arm want to get back into that same pattern say you, you're a guy with a hitch that kind of is that delay mechanism so we're just trying to keep this in that position for as long as possible and then go so for this particular one this is what it's going to look like